Yo, what's good? What's cracking? How's it going? It's me, Matt from Diazwell, coming at you with another EP review. Thanks for coming on by. If you're new, welcome. Yeah, so I'm checking out the new EP from the band Cold Steel, Deeper Into Greater Pain. Now, a little bit about this band is they are from Tampa, Florida. They are a one, two, three, four, five, six piece crossover thrash metallic hardcore band uh, my friend recommended me to check this band out and boy all i can say is thank you for the recommendation because these guys bring it they have a huge wrist nasty breakdowns um very unique vocals there's so much in this band that just needs to be unpacked and needs more like attention so i'm happy to do this review and hopefully it will give them the attention they need so let's get into it yeah. You got some really slow and ambient sound guitars with some nice like reverb to it and everything. Um, what they're creating here, I, at least what I think, you get a sense of like regret and loss with the soft intro. Then it goes right into some ripping guitars and it's just like a groovy assault with the tight drums and the heavy guitar riffs and everything. Great opening track. Heavy head banging riffs and drumming, nice cymbal crashes in the background. Vocals are straight up and direct with how he sounds. He definitely has a unique voice here. The bass is nice and dirty. Um, simple breakdown, but the cymbals and the haunting guitars really uh, give it a more memorable feel to it and everything. So I want to play a little clip of The Lamb. You just can't help but headbang when you hear this song. The transition from the last song to this song is super, super clean. Really like that, very impressive. Uh, I will say in the riff department for some of the songs, especially towards the beginning, it's not as technical, but as the song like progresses, they definitely get more uh, nuanced and more heavy and just really noticeable. Um, what was that? What else? Uh, the vocals, very distinctive. His vocals are very sharp and you can just really, really just hear him he's just cutting through everything drums are in the pocket uh the breakdown on this song is incredibly disgusting like they break they do a breakdown and it sounds really good but then they break it down even further like it blows my mind when i heard that breakdown uh so i want to play a little clip of full tilt which is pretty much the ending breakdown because it's stupid good Your days are gone. Yeah, you kind of get a mix of uh, old judiciary and power trip in terms of like the guitar playing here. And I think that's why I really, really uh, gravitate towards this band because judiciary and power trip are like some of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, and I think why the riff sounds so good. I think it's the benefits of having three guitars you can do a lot more, I think, with th three of them. Uh, the vocal pattern is a little weird at times. Uh, like he's it sounds like he's doing like a one two three four one two three four kind of singing style that kind of sounds stiff but it kind of works too with his clear distinctive vocals it's a very interesting choice uh the breakdown with the deep gutturals though well it fucking bangs on this uh song and then there's like some super pummeling kick drums just freaking amazing this thing they have like a little like sound clip at the beginning and then once it's over, the beat just really kicks in and it just goes fucking wild. Uh, from like the earlier songs until now, all I can say is they have probably the most interesting breakdowns in the hardcore game at the moment because every time they do a breakdown, like I get instant, like I have to mosh, I have to destroy everything in my pack. It just turns, you just feel like they turn the pit, the show into a fucking war zone. Um, it's fast and, and like just crazy how good they are, uh, especially in the riff department. 
we do some really really good transitions throughout the songs and everything and um the lyrics here are really really good i think there's this part where he says i think you're full of shit and they go into like a pretty sick two-step super clean like transitions breakdowns these guys got it all and everything and they not they don't just have one but they have two breakdowns in the song instant war zones on both of them i gotta say bones and blood are being like spilled and split open when these breakdowns like i'm getting like terrified thinking about if I'm ever going to be in one of a uh, Cold Steel's pits, because it just sounds like it's just going to be a straight massacre. So I want to play a little clip of Bad Beat for you. Your shit just sounds so dope and refreshing. Slow start here to switch things up a bit, but it's still got a mean bite to it and everything. Then they move right back into the heavy ass groove with the guitars, making the song sound so refreshing. Uh, nice little uh, little taps on the hi hats add some nice uh, texture and variety to this song. Uh, I really like the guitar scaling on this particular song. Sounds really good. And then uh, it got a really slow and groovy breakdown. Uh, very evil sounding with those guitar licks and everything. So, beautiful song. Yeah, so those are my thoughts on this uh, new EP from Cold Steel. And I gotta say, they definitely are the most impressive hardcore band I've heard in a good while. I hope 2024 is gonna be their new year. I'm hoping me doing this review, people will hear more about them because I think they need the recognition they need because they're making some really interesting and fun um, uh, hardcore, I would say. Uh, remnants of that old judiciary and power trips uh, sound, but more intense and more nasty. And I think what helps with that is because they have those three guitars. They can do some really, really interesting guitar playing here with the scaling, guitar licks, and the riffs and everything, the down picking. It all just sounds incredible. And then you got on top of that, the vocalist who has a very, very, you would think, oh, these vocals don't really match with this band, but he's so clear. He enunciates his words it cuts through and so you really hear it you really hear the lyrics and it really sticks out and makes them like like you got it with the three guitars a really clear uh, vocalist a drummer that's really tight in the pocket bass that has a real grit to it this is genuinely a very stick standout band like you have to notice them and everything and just like well the one thing about hardcore we like to go really nasty in the pit we want to go crazy and everything these guys have the most impressive breakdowns I've heard in I don't know how long. And I said it before in the review, I'm going to say it again. Instant war zones. I feel like people are going to get PTSD. There's going to be trauma after people going to a Cold Steel show and being in a Cold Steel pit because I've never heard stuff like this before. And it's just mind blowing how freaking good it is and everything. So. I want to say thank you to my twin for recommending me to this band. I'm really, really happy I got to check these guys out. Hopefully one day I can see them play live, hit to them, stage die to them. I'm really looking forward to that. So with that being said, I would give this band and uh, Cold Steel with their album Deeper Into Greater Pain a good, solid, well-earned 10 out of 10. Check the links down below. Check this band out. You won't be disappointed. I'm Matt from Diazable. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.